Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove elements from an image using a number of different tools in Photoshop. And to do that we're going to use the coffee image. So to open that I'll just go up the top to file, open, and then find where that image is on my computer and click open. So you can see there that's a nice shallow depth of field image of a cup of coffee. Uh, the first thing that stands out to me there is the over here we've got a little crumb on the table which is kind of distracting because we've got a dark kind of gray silver table and then this bright kind of orangey brown crumb so I'd like to get rid of that and the easiest tool to get rid of small items like that here is by using the spot healing brush tool which you'll find over here so this is a brush and so I can use it to paint it over the top. So I can resize that using the square brackets. And we just want to get it just slightly bigger than the item that we're trying to delete. And all, it's just a matter of just clicking on that crumb. And you can see there, it's disappeared. So you can use that for just small things like there's some other little crumbs on the table over here, little you know grains of sugar that I can use the spot healing brush tool to get rid of. Okay, which is spot healing. So basically what this does is that it uses something called content aware fill. So it, it selects the colors and textures from the surrounding part of the image and fills that space with those colors and textures. So it works really easily for tiny little things, not so well for bigger things where we have larger kind of different colors and textures. Uh, for example, if I was to try to use the spot healing brush tool over here to try to get rid of this coffee around the rim we're going to have all sorts of trouble because it's trying to use too many different contrasting colors okay so for a larger part of an image there's another tool that we can use we first of all we need to select that part of the image so i'll go over here to grab my polygonal lasso tool and I can just use that to trace around the outside of the part of the image that I want to get rid of. I'll do it around the text here. Try to keep it as close to the text as you can. What you're trying to do is reduce the surface area that Photoshop needs to get rid of. And I'll just click all the way around there. Now that I have that part of the image selected, I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to go to Fill. And I want to make sure that that's set to content aware and click OK. And you'll see there that that's going to delete that text and it's going to fill that area in with elements of the surrounding area. I'll just hit Command or Control D to deselect that. And you can actually see there that what it's done is it's actually reproduced that kind of drip of coffee down the side of the cup in, in quite an effective way. So another tool that we might use to get rid of things is the patch tool. So if I was to try to, I want to get rid of the, the text on the sugar packet here. If I was to use the content aware fill tool, we're going to have a few issues because it's going to want to select from the surrounding area and that select surrounding area includes the white porcelain of the cup. So if I go to edit fill content aware and click OK, you can see that we're going to have some troubles there. It's trying to it's trying to fill with too many different colors and textures. It's already tried to sample some of that other text on the on the sugar packet as well there. So that's not going to work for us. So I'll just undo that by hitting Command or Control Z and deselect. So for this, we're going to use a different tool over here under the Spot Healing Brush tool. You'll find the Patch tool, and I might just zoom in. Now I don't want to do this all in one go, I'm going to do it in small areas and I'll use the patch tool to just, I'm going to click and hold the mouse while I trace around it like a pen, all the way around. And you'll see there that now that I've created that, if I move the cursor inside that area, we get this little arrow icon. If I then click and drag that to another space that uses the same color and let go, what Photoshop will try to do is blend those two colors together. So we get quite an effective match there. And we can, we can see the, the space that's been replaced 
but it's done it in a way that kind of tricks our eye into thinking it's all one area. I'll try that again over here. And try to sample from a few different areas, but try to try to match similar colors. All right, maybe I've, I've gone a bit too far into a different color range there, so I might just undo that. Maybe try to select from a closer area over here. That's not looking too bad. So I'll go over and do some more of these letters over here. Now this bit here could be a bit tricky because we've got that kind of wrinkle in the sugar packet here or we've got a darker shade of, of orange where there's more of a shadow. So we'll just see how Photoshop deals with that. You can see there it's, it's done pretty well, it's kind of extended that crease to make it look real. When we've got this part over here where the G in sugar is right along the edge of the packet, we can, it'll still work, we just need to be a little bit more careful about how we get around that, try to keep that line as straight as you can. And then when you sample, try to keep that sample close to the edge there. And you can see that that's that's not too bad. Okay, now if I just zoom out of that, it's, there's some kind of, it doesn't look perfect because it's kind of sampled from the same area. So we get kind of these reoccurring patterns in there, which, you know, if you were to show someone, they probably wouldn't notice it. We notice it because we've been editing it, but you can see we've got this kind of same pattern over here. To, to clear that up a little bit, we might use the clone stamp tool. So that's this guy over here. What you need to do when you're using the clone stamp tool is first, be, to use it, you need to select an area that you're going to paint from. So if I want to get rid of this, I want to kind of sample from this orange color range over here. And to do that, if I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold down the Option key. If you're on a PC, you'll hold down the Alt key and hold it down. You can see that that cursor changes to these little crosshairs. If I then click the mouse, it means that I've sampled from that area. And if I go on paint, you'll see that it'll paint using that area that I've just sampled from. So I can just, if there's, there's areas that look a little bit unusual, I can go over here, I'll, I'll sample from this orange area over here and then when I paint that it'll just blend it a little bit more. Okay, so we'll just zoom out and have a look at the image. I think that looks pretty good. So when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go up to File, Save As, Save It As a JPEG. And then I'm ready.